Hello, I am so excited to demonstrate for you today Alicia, a songwriting artificial intelligence that makes it much easier to come up with original songs. So let's get started. First, let's type in a title. Just type my song. Every time that you want to add a melody, you simply press plus, and then you have a choice between entering lyrics or instead selecting the number of bars. So let me show you how to add lyrics first. So let's say, um, if you type, music makes the world go round, Alicia is going to give you many different options here. 25 options for how you might sing this melody. We may want to adjust the BPM to make it a little bit higher. And let's check out this option. Beautiful, right? So you can look at other options as well. Many different types of options that can fit different styles as well. Yeah, I kind of like this one better. Now, if you click on it again, that replaces what you've selected previously. So you select by clicking, and if you'd like to stop working on a generation, you simply click off or press plus, and that moves you to another generation. All right, uh, now let's say for the next one, we want to add a melody without having to type lyrics. So let's say we want a four bar melody. And Alicia is going to make sure that the melody is are more likely to fit well together. Kind of an interesting one there. Uh, now you get to control um, indirectly the number of accidentals and hops. So hops are the distances between consecutive notes. And you can press save. Now you might not see the changes in every single generation, but in general, they will uh, have influence on the type of melodies that Alicia produces on average. All right, so that's, uh, that's the basics of Alicia. So if you know this, then you can already get started. All right, so here's a little song uh, that I've written a few days ago. Uh, let's listen to it, and then I will show you some of the features uh, that we did not have a chance to go over yet. So overall, I really like this song, but perhaps um, some of the melodies, I may want to change the rhythm on them. So I'm thinking this second one. Um, okay, so over here, let's say I would like to change the rhythm. So we press the change rhythm button, and that's going to become possible for us. Okay, that's a pretty good option. So we can actually select it for now, because I prefer it over the original. And then um, we can listen to other options. Okay, I think this is my favorite. And now we can listen to how the song sounds with this change. So I like this change, so let's save it. And then what you can do actually is download a PDF, a really beautiful PDF of the song. Um, and you can also download mid and MIDI, and then that way you can take it into your DAW and really flesh out the song, assigning different instruments, um, and moving on with the producing process. All right, I'm now going to show you some other features uh, that we've only just added very recently. Okay, so for this feature, let's take a look at this song called January Song uh, that I've written with Alicia a few days ago.
so, so, so it goes on. It's a pretty long song that I've put together. Uh, now the feature that I wanted to demonstrate for you with this song is, uh, you see how over here we have one melody and then essentially the same melody but with different lyrics. So the way that you achieve that is you copy your melody, okay? So right here you see this copy button and then what you can do, you can press edit and you go to the lyrics option and you can actually type different lyrics into here. So it says, sometimes I forget how much you mean to me. Uh, you could type something else instead, as long as the number of syllables is at most off by one. So um, let's say, sometimes I forget why I am with you. How about that? And then instead of pressing go, you press change lyrics. Great, so that would be another option, right? And then what you would do is perhaps you would then move this generation somewhere else so that the repetition uh, fits in nicely. Okay, so right now you can move the bubbles. You want to take um, some of the music with lyrics and move it around. So you have full freedom with that. And you can also delete generations, right? So you have a lot of power as far as rearranging these bubbles. One final thing that I would like to mention is the ability to change keys. Uh, so let's say um, here we have one of my my favorite songs, and we can we can change the key so we can now listen to how it sounds in a different key. And again, we could also speed it up a little bit more. We can control the BPM. So this way you get to experiment with your song quite a bit. And of course you can then download it and put it in a DAW and produce it. All right, so Alicia can be used for the top line melody or it can be used for the underlying melody, the melody that you hear in the instrumentation, in the background track. Um, yeah, it can be used for jingles, the possibilities are endless. Alicia is now a little bit over two years old, started off uh, as a research project. Um, I'm a computer engineering professor and so uh, this was one of my projects. But then it grew bigger and bigger and people started contacting us wanting to use Alicia. And so we are now in beta. If you have any questions and especially if you have feedback, I would absolutely love to hear from you. My email is maya at wave-ai.net. Please get in touch with me. I always get so excited to hear from people who use Alicia uh, with any ideas, thoughts, feedback, or songs that you'd like to share. Thank you for watching. Happy composing. Bye for now.